Hi everyone. Warmer weather. Don't need to put my winter jacket on, but still gotta keep my boots as the snow is melting. We're in March. So what's happening? Quick, quick take on February stats. Every month we're looking at stats, seeing how the market behaves and hopefully get a, some sort of prediction on what's happening with the market. So let's take a look at this chart here. Total of 855 residential properties sold in February through the MLS system compared with 1,411 to be exact in February 2022. That's a decrease of 39%. And this attributes to 633 freehold properties and also 222 condominiums. Now we're comparing with last year, which January, February, March, April, and the beginning of May was a very, very hot market. So obviously it's going to be very dramatic these decreases in unit sales. Now let's take a look at this chart coming up that we're gonna post for you to see. If you take a look at it, you're gonna see the average sale price is down 15%. 709,000 is the average price now. The average days on market is 62 days, up 17 days from last year. And unit sales, as we mentioned earlier, is almost down 42%. For condos, Average price, 411,000, down 12%. Average days on market, 63 days, up 25 days from last year. And unit sales are down 31%. So compared with a year ago, obviously the stats, as I mentioned, they're, uh, they're very impactful. But the telltale sign will be, as mentioned in the last video, approaching to our next video, which is why we're gonna make this video short, is April, April, May. Right now, March, a lot of people are going to go on vacation. They're also going to see uh, how the interest rates are coming, if they're going to eventually stabilize because we had increased six, seven times in the last 12 months. Also wanted to mention, because there's not a lot of buyers into the market equally, which is why the board is saying that we have a balanced market, we're not seeing a whole lot of sellers coming on market. If we start seeing a lot of sellers coming on market, that means there's going to be more inventory and for buyers to choose from, which will impact the price. But because we're not seeing a lot of sellers coming on the market, we're seeing more of a balanced market. Also wanted to touch briefly on the rental market, the stats. 995 properties were rented on February compared with 800 the year before. That's up 24%. The rental market is still as strong as ever with the market that we're currently in. Stay tuned for the next video where we will definitely have a better, much better forecast of what's coming up uh, down the down for the rest of the year. Stay safe, stay active, and we're still selling real estate.